Hey everyone, welcome, wow, tell me why I just wanted to say welcome to my crib. Not what I was going for. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming something that feels like a Cribs episode. I don't think I've ever done a video like this. I am gonna be giving you a little tour of my nail polish storage and organization. This is something that I've wanted to share for a long, long time and I feel like I finally have a pretty good setup so I feel ready. I don't wanna make this video too long, I just want it to be short, sweet. I hope that it inspires you or motivates you or gives you some ideas about how to organize your own nail polish collection. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So the main focus of this room and the hub of my nail polish collection is right here on the wall to the left of my desk. Now I've reorganized this room a few times. I've put my desk on different walls, I've put it in the middle of the room, but the nail polish has all stayed on this one side wall. When we originally moved into this house, I imagined installing from ceiling to floor. I wanted like a full wall of nail polish. Honestly, I probably could have done it, but it kind of were a pain to install and I think that's a good amount that's on the wall right now. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so you can kind of get the full view and then bring you up close to show you how I organize them. So when you walk into my office, excuse my light, it's set up for filming right now, but when you walk into my office right here from the door, here you see my desk, my nail polish wall, and then I'll get over here after, but let's walk over. This is truly my pride and joy. I am so proud of this wall. When we moved in a couple years ago, my mom actually helped me install all of these shelves. There are six rows and two columns. So in total, there were 12 shelves that we installed. I bought these on Amazon. I'll be sure to link them below. They were kind of a pain to install because we had to drill, what are those called? Like you had to drill a hole before a hole, like a socket or something. And there were two on each side and we had to measure and make sure that they were perfectly even. So that was a bit of a challenge, but it was well worth it. So the way that I felt was the best to organize it was by brand and by rainbow color. Now I'm partial to white capped polishes. I just felt like they fit the vibe of the room better because all of my furniture was white. But unfortunately I didn't have an entire collection of white capped polishes. So we had to work with some of the silvers, the gray, and the blacks as well. Up here I have my Essie collection. I always struggle with how to properly rainbow order them. I start from darkest red, move into pinks, then oranges, then yellow, green, blue, purple, light purples or nudes and then browns. I mean it's challenging because every collection is completely different. I feel like this is a pretty good rainbow row. This one's not too bad. Olive and June was a little challenging but anyway. So anyway that's what I tried to do. So here we have Essie. And then down here, this is one Essie as well. These I think are, yeah, these are Pop Beauty polishes. Now I turned them so that the logos weren't facing just because this is a mix of polishes here. So these two are Pop Beauty. These two are Pure Ice from Walmart. I actually really like these polishes. That's a Pure Ice as well, I believe. Yep. Two more Pop Beauties. I felt like these were all pretty similar, so I just put them in rainbow order. You can't really tell from afar. And then that's another Essie. These are all Sally Hansen polishes, the Mega Strength. This is OPI Infinite Shine. These are all Morgan Taylor. And then we have the OPI Shrine. So these are pretty much all OPI reds and oranges. Then down here we have some more of the neons, peaches, yellows, blues and greens, purples. So mostly cool tones down here. And then I continued here with the pinks. So these are all OPI pinks and then we move into some of the light pinks and the nudes. Again here, this looks like this can be rearranged, but I'm telling you it's way more challenging to put polishes in rainbow order than you'd think. Down here are some more OPIs and then I have my Nina Ultra Pros, which I love. This is my Olive and June section, which I love how it looks. I love their bottle design. I love the sleek round caps. Um, again, a bit of a challenge to come up with the proper rainbow order. Like from here down, I think that looks great. But then these reds, oranges, and pinks kind of throw me off. Then we have this mix here, which is also a little challenging. Um, and then I have these light slacker polishes here. So that's a bit of a mix, but I don't mind it. And then up here are my full size gelish bottles, which are like my pride and joy. I'm gonna sit on my desk because I think I'll get a little closer, yeah. So I love the full size gelish bottles. The only time I've ever gotten them are from PR packages. I've never found them full size in store, but I know you can buy them online. Amazon, Walmart, there are a few sites online that you can find them. I really wanted to display the fulls as well as the foundation and the top coat. So that is all of my full size gelish there. So when you zoom out, as 
as a unit, I think it looks really great. I love the nail polish wall. It's definitely a talking point. People always want to know about it. It makes for great photos. It makes for great video backdrops. It's just very me and I love it. I love it so much. And when we buy a home, I hope I can display my polishes in a similar fashion. So back to the desk. Over here is this new shelf that I just got from Amazon with the intent of putting new products on here. Also some things that were on my desk. So everything on that top shelf was actually on my desk up to like two weeks ago and I just really wanted to clean that desk off. So middle shelf is all new product that has come in. None of this has been touched. It's all brand new and needs to be filmed. Like this doesn't belong here. I don't know where that goes. It's starting to get a little crazy, but down here is new product as well. All of this right here is from Nail Aid. I cannot tell you how excited I am to try this. Right now I have a coat of gel underneath my regular polish, um, but I think I'm gonna remove it after this video and film a full Nail Aid manicure with one of these polishes and one of their colors. This is all their vegan pure line. I've never tried this polish before, but as you can see, these are all pinks and mauves, which are my favorite. Um, this is the Olive and June Petty Kit, which is obviously not new. This is a PR box that I just used for papers and wanted to save. And then in here, this was a PR box from Laura Mercier, and in here are just all products that I have touched or that are brand new. To the right is this small shelf that I got from Michael's Craft Store, and on top are all my gelish mini polishes. So before I had any large gelish polishes, I had primarily minis. I cannot tell you how much I loved collecting these. It was such an exciting event to go to Sally Beauty Supply and pick out a new Jellish mini. I was sent some of these way back when as well, but most of these I had purchased. It's crazy when I look at this, it's truly an investment because all of these bottles I believe were like $12 a pop. So that is all my Jellish. Some of my favorites in here are, you're so sweet, you're giving me a toothache. I have bought, I have two of these actually. I don't know why they're not together. A touch of sass, that's a really beautiful burgundy. Love me like a vamp is a great color. Is this Bella? Bella's Vampire is the very first gelish bottle I ever bought. It is disgusting right now. It's all like sticky and leaking, but the polish is still perfectly fine. And then I think the second, it was a red standout. It was this one. Yeah, you can tell these have seen better days. And then Exhale was another original. I think those were the three gelishes I ever bought back in like 2012. And then down here, these are all red carpet manicure colors. I've actually never used red carpet manicure products before, but I'm holding on to them in hopes that one day I'll get around to it. I am just such a gelish snob that I haven't ventured into other gel polishes just yet. Over here is the gelish cuticle oil, which is amazing. This is the pH bond I put on before every gel mani. That's a top coat, that's a top coat, that's a foundation, and this is their nail strengthener which honestly, the Vita Gel, I'm not a huge fan of. I found that it peeled really quickly on me, but this is a sample of my cuticle oil that I am launching hopefully within the next couple of months. This is just like a stock bottle, that's not my bottle. And then this is a Nail Aid top coat that I recently tried and really did like. And then this is a very messy drawer. I'm just gonna keep it totally real with you guys. Um, this is where I leave a lot of my nail tools. I didn't even clean it before this. So these are all Olive and June tools, which are some of my favorites. I've got a bunch of buffing blocks, a nail brush, removers, files, some pedicure tools and lotions, and then a few random top coats. You know, I love this stuff. Um, these are the new Olive and June strengthener and ridge fillers, which are pretty great. Their top coat, which is incredible. Um, and then just some towels. I actually have a set of tips in here. I think these are stickers. These are silk wraps. Brushes for dip, which I really don't do anymore. Foot files, toe separators, and that's pretty much it. The rest of these drawers are just um, other products. It's hot. This is like the first 75 degree day that we've had in Connecticut and I'm melting. I'm not gonna complain though. It's amazing. I love it. This weather makes me so happy. So that's pretty much it for the polishes that are displayed. So obviously I have a pretty large collection and this is not the end of it. There's only so many places I can display my polish. So I actually have one more box to show you that I keep in this closet. So. To the right of my little drawer here is this closet, which I'm kind of embarrassed to show you, but I'm just gonna show you because I don't care. So up top is a bunch of random stuff, my hot rollers, some extra vitamins, paper products, I don't know. And then all of our coats, and by all of our coats, I mean like mostly my coats, some dresses and suits. And then down here, wow, it looks way worse than it actually is. This is our vacuum. These are my hot tools. This is my backpack and then 
my bride bag. But this little guy under here is the extra nail polish. So let me pull this out. So I got this really nice PR package from Cool Sculpting around Christmas time. And inside was a bunch of little compartments with different gifts in them. It was such a well thought out package. Everything was put together so nicely and I couldn't bear to get rid of this box. And it really ended up coming in handy. So, ta-da! This is the rest of my nail polish. It's not terribly organized, but down here, these are all mini Deborah Lipman's and these are more red carpet manicures. Over here, we have OPI Infinite Shines. These are Nails Ink polishes. And then over here, it's kind of a miscellaneous bunch. These are three KBS Shimmer polishes, which I actually really liked. I think this is one too. Four. A couple Essies. These two are LA Colors Color Last. These are lacquer polishes, which are actually really great. I highly recommend this brand if you haven't tried it. And then these are all Good Kind Pure from Sally Hansen. Over here, we have Morgan Taylor, Orly, Orly, Azoya, a random Wet n Wild Mega Shine, and then some more Deborah Lipman minis. I don't know why those aren't together, probably because those filled up. These are OPI Sinful Colors and China Glaze. And then this is a finger paints polish. But yeah, like this needs a good shake. Over here, full size Deborah Lipman's. These are LA Colors Color Craze. Um, this is a Wicon. I got this in a train station in Italy. This is Fresh Paint. This is honestly one of my favorite light pink polishes and you can find it at five below. This is Fresh Paint. I think these are all Fresh Paint. Yeah. This is an INM out the door top coat. If you're looking for an amazing, affordable, fast drying top coat, get this one. You can find it at pretty much every drugstore. Morgan Taylor top topper base coat. That's a base coat. Mega Strength Hardener. And then up here, this whole block here is all top and base coats. So OPI Rapid Dry. This is a Nails Inc. Essie Gel Setter, this stuff is amazing. Sesh V, this is also pretty good. Sally Hansen, this is that liquid latex tape. Um, LA Colors, Sally Hansen, more OPI. Morgan Taylor, Morgan Taylor, OPI. Um, this I think is a matte, yes. This is a Sally Hansen matte top coat. You can basically use this with any polish and it will turn it to a matte finish. This is all Sally Hansen Miracle Gel and Color Therapy. I love the Miracle Gel line. I like the Color Therapy line, but the Miracle Gel is my, honestly, one of my favorites. And if I had more of these polishes, they would be on my wall. Over here, we have Sally Hansen. This was the Jelly Bean Collection. A lot of really fun polishes in here as well. I haven't used all of these. As you can tell, they really need a good shake. Bella Lacquer, which I think may have gone out of business, but I loved their polishes at one time. These are NCLA. This is another Nails Ink. And then a Olive and June Remover Pod. And then a random Deborah Lipman, which over there. So that is it for the extra polish. I can't even tell you how heavy this is. It's like really, really heavy. I can only slide it in and out, but it works perfect. Honestly, the very best thing I could have ever used to organize my polishes. Unfortunately, it doesn't close tight, but it's all good. So that is it for this video. That is my entire nail polish collection. I don't think I have another polish stash anywhere. You have seen them all at this point. This was really fun to film and it's something I've been meaning to do for a long while. So I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. I'll do my best to link those clear shelves as well as that rack that's holding all my minis and anything else that I may have mentioned in this video. If there's anything specific that you'd like me to send you a link to, please let me know in the comments and I can make sure I get that for you. But that is it for this video. Leave me a comment below letting me know how you organize your nail polish. I'm very, very intrigued by how people do this because it's really one of those tricky products to keep organized because it is so pretty and you do want to display it. But many times we just find ourselves with boxes under our beds. For the longest time, I just had boxes and boxes of nail polish under my bed, whether it was big clothing boxes or shoe boxes. I actually had this one big Soma robe box and I kept a ton of my polish in there. And I really have pared down my collection over the years. This is all that's remaining. This is all the new stuff that's come in. Like I said, there's nothing else hiding. So, although I wouldn't be surprised if I stumbled upon a bottle in a purse or something or another drawer, but for the most part, what you see is what you get. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And I will see you guys in my next one.